I said, guess who's back? Man, guess who's back? So it was your first pro defeat ever. How did you cope? I mean, it's the first time you'd also gone 10 rounds, right, as well, yeah? Uh, no, I had been, I had been uh, 10 rounds previously. OK. So it wasn't, it wasn't so much the distance, but um, for me, it's just losing air. Uh, we're not the bestest of friends. No, you're not. No. It, do you know, it was horrible to watch. I mean, I watched, um, watched over it and poured over it, quite frankly, because, obviously, we're all willing you to win it in terms of the Brits wanting you to win, but it was... She was devastating at times. So how do you combat that this time? I know you said you took a risk, but what will you have to do to get the better of her this time? Is it not, not take the risk, or what would you do? Um, I, I feel like, uh, honestly, can I box Clarissa long? I really can. Like I said, I, I totally... The tactics were um, totally going against my strengths. Why did you do that? Um, I think that's one for Peter Fury. <laughs> Are you blaming Peter Fury here? <laughs> no, I'm not, it's a team effort, isn't it? So I, I can't, it I can't point is. the blame. But um, he hasn't been my favourite person over the past couple of months. Right, OK. So obviously you need to get that back on track, no doubt. Um, it was... Breaking news. Savannah Marshall throws a father-like figure, Peter Fury, completely under the bus for her loss against... Uh, Clarissa Shields. Um, so basically, Savannah Marshall was in an interview and she was asked about... Um, they, they ended up speaking about the fight that she had against Clarissa Shields. And the reason why they were they, they started talking about that fight and what had happened was because they're um, trying to make the rematch fight. Because obviously, as most people know, Savannah Marshall has activated the rematch clause against Clarissa Shields. And um, it's in the works at the moment. Both camps are, are talking about it. Basically, they're just talking about where it's going to happen. Um, is it going to be in the US where Clarissa Shields wants to fight? Um, Savannah Marshall says she doesn't mind going to the US. The problem is she said that Clarissa Shields is not a draw and she doesn't make any money, basically, um, out there in the US because she's just not, she's just not a draw. Uh, we don't know why that is. Savannah Marshall says that it's because of her bad personality and her attitude problem. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but whatever is the truth, um, I do think that there is some truth in the fact that the fight wouldn't make that much money in the US. It may not make that much money in the US because uh, Clarissa Shields doesn't really um, bring a lot of eyes to the sport, to the female sport, and uh, she's not kind of like a massive draw out there. Whereas in the UK, it would be a massive fight. Just looking at, you know, the numbers before and numbers on Twitter and numbers on, on YouTube, you know, it's, it had like millions, millions of people viewing it. So it's definitely going to be a big fight over here in, in the UK or Wembley or something like that. And, and so obviously both fighters want to make the most money. Um, so while they were talking about the rematch, they got on to talking about what went wrong in the, in the loss to uh, to Clarissa Shields. And Savannah Marshall, being a, a calm, humble, kind of a politely spoken woman, who I really respect because of the way that she is, um, she actually throws Peter Fury kind of under the bus. for, And I don't think she's completely wrong. I don't think she's completely wrong to say this, to be honest. Um, she makes a very strong argument, which I, I would be partial to agree with. She basically said that the way that she fought on that night against Clarissa Shields is not the way that she fights. It's in total opposition to her style. Her style is more keeping it long and counter-punching. And then if she is aggressive, it's because she's like finding her range and she's starting to win. So once she starts to win, she starts to press the action. But in the beginning, she's actually the counter-puncher. And um, if you look at, in a lot of her fights, she has been like that. You know, if, she, if she's in a fight where she's not, obviously uh, much stronger and physically bigger than her opponent, in which case she goes forward more. But if she is kind of, uh, you know, a little bit worried about what's coming back at her, she can fight on the back foot. That is really how she fights, on the back foot, keeping it long. And most people can't get past her, her reach, her huge reach. And, um, I mean, she's definitely a super middleweight. She's a very tall, big woman, and she uses her size and her reach really well. And... Um, that's the way she boxes. And even more importantly, that's how she beat um, 
Clarissa Shields in the amateurs, completely on the back foot. She didn't come forward once. So I think in camp, prior to the fight, um, she was probably wanting to fight on the back foot because she's fought Clarissa Shields before and she knows how Clarissa Shields fights and what her strong point is, her her her, her advantage, you know. Um, if you're going to be aggressive and come forward, that's Clarissa Shields all day, you know. But fighting on the back foot uh, behind a good stiff jab, which Savannah Marshall's got one of the best in the business, that's something that Clarissa Shields probably would have struggled with. And I'm thinking that that's what, that's the game plan that Savannah Marshall wanted to implement. But what um, Savannah Marshall's kind of alluding to is that Peter Fury is kind of saying, no, you know, we want to make the fight exciting and I think you can handle her. You're the bigger, stronger fighter, you know, go forward, see what she's got, push her, push her back. She can only fight coming forward, push her back and uh, that will probably like disarm her. I think that's what Peter Fury is kind of trying to get Savannah Marshall to do. Savannah Marshall being a very polite, humble person, probably just agreed because that's her trainer and implemented a completely different style to what she would prefer. So I think she's actually got a point. Um, I'm not sure if the conclusion would have been the same, but, you know, she has got a strong point. Peter Fury did get it wrong. Savannah Marshall did come forward on the front foot and it didn't really work for her because at close range where, where Clarissa Shields has got the short arms and the more explosive power, it just completely suits Clarissa Shields. She was able to get her punches off faster. She was way faster than Savannah Marshall um, at um, close range. And um, the way Savannah Marshall fights, it would have had to have been on the outside because she's a little bit slower and a little bit more deliberate, but she's got good timing and she's got good uh, sense of distance. And I think that would have frustrated um, Clarissa Shields much more and it would have given Savannah Marshall more openings. So I think she's got every right to kind of throw Peter Fury a little bit under the bus, which she kind of did. She didn't go full out and say, you know, he's useless. He's the one who made me lose. But she did kind of say, you know, we're not really talking because I figure she was really upset and, um, you know, you'd only be that upset if you had said something beforehand about the game plan. I think she probably said, you know, I want to try and outbox her. And I think Peter Fury is like, no, no, you can do it. You're the biggest, stronger one. Put it on her. You know what I mean? And gave her this false confidence that she can suddenly come forward and impose her will on, on an explosive fighter. And she couldn't. That's what happened. So, to be honest, I'm looking forward to the rematch. If they make the rematch... I'm looking forward to it and um, I'm not 100% certain who would win just because of the first fight because if they do change tactics, which they definitely will, it did not work the first time, Savannah Marshall may be extremely successful. Um, then again, maybe Clarissa Shields will adapt and um, you know implement a game plan of her own to close the distance and maybe the same thing will happen again. So let me know what you think. Do you think this is just sour grapes by Savannah Marshall or do you think she's got some right to, to claim that, uh, you know, there were some things that didn't go her way, but in the rematch, she will do much better. Do you think she'll do much better? Do you think the game plan was wrong? Whose fault do you think it was? I'm, I'm really not sure. I do think she's got a point at the same time. I wouldn't say it's completely Peter Fury's fault. Um, one of the reasons why I wouldn't say it's his fault is John Fury, his brother, said the same thing to Tyson Fury about Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder's a front foot fighter. If you push him back, you disarm him and he's, his right hand becomes useless. And uh, this is kind of what happened. Um, Deontay Wilder in the, first, in the second fight and the third fight, well, the second fight particularly, he did not know how to fight going backwards and he looked completely disarmed. Um, but coming forward... You give him all the chance in the world and he's the most dangerous person on on the planet. And I think it's the same a little bit for, well, Peter Fury was thinking it's the same story for Clarissa Shields. So um, I'm excited to see the rematch. Let me know what you think. I'm on to the next one. If you enjoyed the video today, please don't forget to like, share, leave a comment and of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.